Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my favorite nude lip colors of all times. Like I, I did a favorite lipstick and lip gloss formula, like my favorite formulas of all times, like doesn't really matter color, some bold, some nudes, whatever, and I, I'll link that below. But this is my favorite nude lip shades of all times, and I did swatches, so head on over to the blog to see swatches. And some of these, uh, most of these I've been using for quite a long time, so they've been a, a favorite for a while. So I've included some glosses, only like two, and lipsticks, lip balms, and then some lip liners that I really like. I don't use lip liners too often, but I did find some that I really do enjoy and look good with a wide range of lip colors. I can use it with bold shades or nude shades. All right, let's first start with some glosses. First, the Hourglass Extreme Sheen Lip Glosses. My, one of my favorite lip glosses of all times, like formula. And the shade Canvas, I also have the shade Truth. They look almost identical. So I, I didn't know which one to pick. I was like, I'll just pick one and talk about them both. But I absolutely love the formulation, first of all. But the color is just this perfect, beautiful, natural pink on the lips. And it's not too sheer, so it definitely gives some coverage. And it feels like a creamy balm on the lips. That's why I really like it. Next is a color by Buxom, the Lip Cream in White Russian. So this is like a milky nude. And there are tons of milky nude lip glosses out there. And very few really look good on the lips. Like a lot tend to, like NARS Turkish Delight. I was so obsessed with that color, but every time I would wear it, it would like pull on my lip lines and like settle and kind of pool together it, and ended up looking like worse. It was just awful. And, and I so wanted that lip color to look good on me because in theory, like I thought it would be so like, just such a beautiful color. And then on my lips, I was like, mm, no. This immediately kind of um, evenly distributes all throughout the lips and it just settles down into kind of like that milky nude color but never um, showing any lip lines or looking patchy or anything. It's just such a beautiful formula in general and then color. All right, this is a lipstick um, formula that I'm using for a long time and this nude shade is one of my favorites. The Erin, Erin Lauder, Rose Balm Lipstick in Perfect Nude. So it is the perfect nude. I also really love, this is a little bit more browny, like kind of like a more brown nude. They make one called Pretty. <gasps> It's so pretty. It's a little bit pinkier, but it broke on me the other day. It just like fell out onto my floor and I could, I just couldn't salvage it. It was like really disappointing. Um, so I need to get another one of those cause it's probably one of my favorite pink lip shades. It's like just no matter what, it will look good with any eye I ever do. Just because it looks like my lip color just enhanced a little bit, but perfect nude is really beautiful as well. It's just a little more brown. And it gives, they're like sheer to medium coverage, but they have a nice um, balm-like feel on the lips. Okay, and these lipsticks, love the formulation so much, love these colors as well. The Clinique ColourPop lip colors, and this is Nude Pop, and this is Beige Pop. So I just adore these two. They have, they're like a medium to close to full coverage lipsticks that feel like a creamy balm on the lips. So they really have managed to make a fantastic formula that doesn't dry out, that lasts all day and feels good on the lips. I just, I haven't had a few of these shades, even like bolder shades, and I just absolutely love the formula. So, but these two, especially this one, the beige pop is like the perfect beigey coral for a smoky eye. I've used it before in, in videos and it's just perfect. Okay. The Lipstick Queen Chinatown Pencil in Pink Bluff. So I initially saw this and thought it would be too kind of pinky mauve color, and it wasn't. It actually looks just a little bit like a punchier lip color with a lip color with like a little bit of punch to it. So I thought it, like I said, I thought it was gonna be too mauve which I didn't want, but it's a beautiful pencil and the formulation is so creamy and wonderful on the lips. It definitely has more of a slip to it and a little bit of a, a shine. Okay, this drugstore lip balm, the Color Riche Balm from L'Oreal in Nourishing Nude. I tend to use this, it has some color to it, so you could definitely 
use it alone, but I like to pair it with my more matte lip colors or those lip colors that I love in theory, but they don't make my lips feel too great. We all have those. You just keep wearing them all the time, but you're like, I hate it. They make my lips feel awful, but you love the color. So I put something like this over top of it to help give some moisture and it doesn't change the color too much, but I can wear it alone. So that's good. All right, Lipstick Queen Saint Pinky Nude. I can't believe I haven't even, I still have half of this left because I use this a lot. This has got to be one of my favorite pinks. It's kind of like a baby pink uh, that has a little bit of peach to it, but it's, they're supposed to be sheer, this formulation. There's like the Saint and Sinner collection. The Saints are supposed to be more sheer than the Sinner collection. And I find that it actually gives pretty good coverage. Like I don't see this to be, I definitely wouldn't think this is like a luster texture that MAC has, you know, where it's like definitely more see-through and sheer. That actually has some pigmentation to it. So that's why I really like it. Speaking of MAC, this color Patisserie, it's a luster shade. I also really, I couldn't remember if this was limited edition or not. It may be, whoops, um, but maybe it's still around. But it's almost identical to the color Hug Me, which I also was going to pick. So I was like, mm, six and one, half dozen the other. Well, kind of, I like them both. And they kind of are, when I used to work for MAC like eons ago, like 10 plus years ago, because someone would come in looking for a new lip band. I don't care what kind of skin tone they had, what color lips, and if their lips were a little bit darker, or a little bit more light, whatever, I'd be like, hug me. Like, don't hug me, but hug me, the lipstick. <laughs> Like give it to everybody. That in Viva Glam 5, um, we all kind of would like anyone coming in for a nude lip. It's just awful to say, but we wouldn't even like look through the thing. We'd be like Viva Glam 5 or hug me, pick one. Just because they always would look good on everybody and they would be like, oh, this is perfect. How did you know this was my color? I Meanwhile, we're laughing, you know, because we're like, we give it to everybody. It pretty much looks good on everybody. Um, and that was a real great thing about it. So. Um, but I don't have the Glam 5, surprisingly. I think I used mine up. Both the gloss and lipstick are absolutely beautiful. But I really like Patisserie and Hug Me, like I said, for easy to throw on lip color when you maybe just don't have any makeup on, you need a little bit of something, they're great for that. Okay, this one from Bobbi Brown, the Creamy Lip Color in Washed Seashell. So it has this slight shimmer to it. I don't tend to like shimmer lip colors. As you can tell, most of mine are creamy or matte. This has just a hint of like a frost shimmer to it, which is nice. And it's this real kind of angel baby pink that isn't too, doesn't skew too like Barbie pink, um, which is not for me, but it gives like this really nice shimmering seashell pink look to the lips. And I like it in the summertime when if I use a little bit more bronzer on my face and some, you know, really dewy skin and kind of highlighted cheeks, I kind of like that kind of shimmery baby pink lip. But I mean, it's great for the winter as well for, with the smoky eye. Okay, this is my newest lip color, nude lip that I added to this. And I just tested this out like a month or two ago. So it's surprising that I added it immediately, but it blew me away that quickly. And it's the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Protest. And why I loved this is I put it on, I was like, that is the perfect fall nude. And you must be like, what's a fall nude? And I mean, you can wear nudes all year round, but it had a little bit more brown to it. It kind of looked, I mean, it has that 90s lip look that everyone's doing right now. It's not a Kylie Jenner lip because that's, like, when am I going to be wearing a Kylie Jenner lip? No. So that whole like look does not, tend to wear well on me. But this has that kind of 90s, richer kind of brown undertone, but it still has some of a coral mix to it. So it makes it a little bit lighter and not so kind of, that those kind of colors look, look really dead on me. It just does not look flattering. And it just is very warm on the lips. It's definitely medium coverage, medium to full. So I kind of, as soon as I put on, I was wearing this like, um, my shearling vest and it just looked really warm and fall like so that's why I call it my fall nude lip nude lip okay this is from lipstick queen the silver screen formulation in the color you kid beautiful beautiful peachy fleshy nude these are expensive though I will say and these are $50 I think but I would buy these this formulation the silver screen lipstick 
from Lipstick Queen over Tom Ford. I know that some of you may just have like mind blown that I just said that or like on the floor, but what did she just say? I'm not a huge fan of the Tom Ford lipsticks. I like them here and there more for like a color, but the formula isn't my favorite. And I try different ones all the time because people love them so much. And I'm like, okay, Mary, you are going to try this one today and you're going to fall in love with it. And just like everybody else loves it, you're gonna, and I don't. Like they tend to make my lips dry. Ooh. But this, for $50, the formulation is one of the best I've ever tried. My lips stay mo like moister moisturized and hydrated all day long with these. And the coverage is quite full and it's just a lovely, lovely lipstick. So that's my two cents about Tom Ford lipsticks. Okay, last one is the Chantecaille Lip Sheets, which I'm sure if you've been watching me or reading my blog for a while, you know I've talked about these a million times before, but it's my favorite. This is the color in Ane. I think A-N-A-I-S, Anise, an A. Mm -hmm. But I love these because I said before, they have this like, when I apply it, it feels like the color is like fusing to my lips or hugging my lips. It's a very unique feeling and texture than I have from any other lipstick I've ever tried. So much so that my mom complains that she never finds lipsticks that don't dry her lips out or make her lips peel. So I bought this for her without her ever trying it or even knowing if the color would work. The color is just a beautiful, kind of neutral coral, neutral kind of corally brown, you know, very, very basic neutral. But I knew she would like the formulation and sure enough, she was like, I love it. It doesn't, I was like, I know. It's really a stellar, stellar formulation. And the, all the colors, I have one that's like called Daphne. It's a little bit more, a little bit more peachy, like a pop um, that I just absolutely adore. And it's, like I said, one of my favorite lip formulation, lipstick formulations of all times. Okay, so lip liners. I have four here. The first two are my newest ones that I recently tried that I fell in love with because everyone's been raving about them, the Marc Jacobs lip liners. I have them in Primrose and Honey Bun. No surprise, these are the ones that everybody likes. I think he only makes like three or four though, right? So, but Primrose is definitely deeper and more rose-like, so when I wore it, I expected it to kind of be a nude, but it really deepened up my lip color that I put on top. So just know that if you're going to try Primrose, know that it will deepen up whatever lip color you have on top of it. You can wear it alone though too. And then Honey Bun is so great. It's like this fleshy coral that really, you know, nudes out the lip and whatever you put on top of it really wears quite well. And then I have Dior Grige kind of like an iconic color. Why am I not focusing? There it is. Um, iconic color, the whole Grige, um, Dior Grige, it made an eye, um, a five color eyeshadow palette, a lipstick, a lip liner. I had the eyeshadow palette, not the lip line, lipstick, but I had the lip liner. And it's a great standard nude. Like I find that it doesn't tend to change any of the colors I'm wearing on top of it. So I like this one if I'm using maybe a red lip color and I just wanted a nude lip liner because I wanted to tone down the red for whatever reason. This is the lip liner that I gravitate towards and grab when I need to just um, take out any red or pink in my lip and just build color off of it. Finally, Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Pillow Talks. Surprise, surprise. Actually, no surprise because everyone loves this. This is in between Primrose and Honey Bun. If they had a baby, they would have made this. So it's a nice, somewhat peachy, somewhat rose, and it kind of blends the two together. It definitely has some, some color to it though. Um, I tried Iconic Nude, it was a little too brown for me, that, for what I was looking for, but I still would wear it. But this is, <clears throat> sorry, this is kind of a nice fleshy coral that does have still some rose in it. Like I said, it's like Honey Bun and Primrose came together. They made a baby, this is what they make. So those are my favorite nude lip colors of all times. I'm sure I'll have new ones that'll develop as I go and then I'll probably do an updated video at some point. But I will, um, I'll do swatches of all these. They'll be on the blog and the link will be down below. And make sure you leave me your favorite lip nude lip combination because I'm always on the hunt for like new ones. I'm sure I haven't tried every single nude lip that's out there. So I love to hear what nude lip everyone um, loves. And I think it's also helpful for people to see what they, you know, um, say as well. So, um, I will, uh, talk to everyone soon and thanks for watching. Okay. Take care.
拜。